Hey, Jay, someone from uh, Wagbag, they don't forget anything. They want to know uh, if you were begging to try to get on Howard's show, because Howard made a whole deal about that. If I what? Uh, Howard went off on a whole rant about you, saying that you were trying to beg to be on his show. No. You badmouthed him in an interview. Jay badmouthed him in an interview. You bashed him. Right, and then Howard uh, claimed that you were begging to get on the show. Well, I he was I, saying, I, I, I think... Hey, I don't beg for nobody. I think it oh, was wait, a... I got the clip. Of Howard? Yeah. All right, let's it, listen. Uh, let's this is the beauty in. of the new show, Jay. We get to play all these uh, all these clips. We play whatever we want. That calls Howard. I know what did happen is... Um, Hold on. Sorry, I was rinsing my mouth up. I, I, um, I, was, my, I had phone calls from friends telling me that he was talking about me, and then I clicked over and listened, and Gary was suggesting me as a guest, and Howard said, no, because I don't, I don't know what I would talk to him about. And it was, like, really, like, boring, and I turned it. <clears throat> Well, here it is. Here's the clip. Hey, uh, Mitch, you're on the air. Yeah, I just wanted to let you know that uh, Jay Moore ripped off one of your bits on Jimmy Kimmel last night. Jesus. What do you do? Uh, he was actually breathing while he was telling one of, one of his jokes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very funny. Very funny. The guy bashed him. Nailed him. He walked right into it. Yeah, the guy, uh, Howard's all happy thinking he's got one of these uh, stupid rip-me-off things again. He was actually breathing. Did he hear I that, I invented Jay? that, Robin. That's what? Let me tell you about Marconi, Robin. Anthony, you do a great, Howard. It makes me happy when you uh, do that. Thank Howard. you, uh, Jay Moore. It, it continues, listen. Telling one of, one of his jokes, kind of like you do. I think you invented that. <laughs> hey, Jay, why don't you stop calling the show? You're not coming on ever. Also, at this point, Howard thinks... Oh, yeah, yeah, I did hear this. And uh, I was like, is this guy delusional? I think I call myself. Of course. I forgot to... Yeah, Howard thinks he's talking to Jay Moore. That's what makes this so Are beautiful. Are you kidding? Yeah, now we got to start over. I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, because the guy sounds so much like me. What a lunatic. Hey, uh, Mitch, you're on the air. Yeah, I just wanted to let you know that uh, Jay Moore ripped off one of your bits on Jimmy Kimmel last night. What do you do? Uh, he was actually breathing while he was telling <laughs> one, of, one of his jokes. Kind of like you do. I think you invented that. Yeah, boy. Hey, Jay, why don't you stop calling the show? You're not coming on ever. Oh you think you'd have more to do. Yeah. <laughs> do you think he's serious? Isn't Jay the comic who tried for years to get on our show and then trashed me on the Opie and Anthony show? Absolutely. Yeah, well, F him. He stood on the side of the MTV Awards. Yeah. He stood there, not unlike Jim Carrey 10 years earlier, you know, just waiting to get on the show. Yeah, so Jim got on and, and Jay didn't. Right. And so... Uh, oh, you know, know, you're like I'm a loser like Jim Carrey. <laughs> yeah. You're a loser. The Jim Carrey boss. You're a loser like the guy that makes 20 mil a picture. I, you know, I can't take it anymore. Like, there, like every once in a while, I, I like the show, but I just, I just can't take. I mean, I know like they all get paid to agree with them, but it gets to a point where it's just awful. Yeah, how about once in a while, just not agreeing with the guy? Yeah, we were saying that earlier, man. Did a black show on a work, Robin? I know. It's no. crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh -huh. You think he'd have better things to do <laughs> than call a show? He does, because that isn't him. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you Let idiot. me hear it again. That guy sounds nothing like me. Oh. sounds like one of my uncles. It continues. And so, uh, you know, boo-hoo. Boo-hoo. So, so after being a super fan, he trashes me. Because right. he's got no goddamn convictions or... Morality oh, you or anything. You heard his feelings. Yeah, I heard his feelings. He's such a scary talent. Now he's doing Star Search. No, I'm having sex with Nicky Cox, you heeb. <laughs> God damn. He's right about the morality, though. Yeah, you, you don't have any morality, that's yeah. for sure. But Jesus, you're having a good time, though. Uh, <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> what a tool. It continues. Now he's doing star search. Great. <laughs> Good luck. By the way, I have to take back what I said about that show. I watched the rest of it. It was abominable. All right. <gasps> Boy, New York comedians were really bad. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, my goodness. How good's a comedian going to be on television where you're not allowed to say anything? I mean, seriously, think well, about it. Well, they did do some bleeping, but, yeah. uh, man. Yeah, and bleeping always makes everything funny. Well, it made Ozzy funny, so yeah. I guess the comedians thought it would help them. He's right. like grumpy and tired. Oh, always. Always. Bah, He's just bah. calling in at this point. Sirius has no idea how bad that deal really is. His, they have no clue yet. His half a billion dollar deal. Jesus. Just yeah, nice. I don't understand how they're going to make that work. That's some serious cash. Man, you got to give him that. 
Making some oh, real please. money. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Jay. No. Are you like? Did he get us? Are you getting me? I think he no. Got. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was the reverse silent Jay, game. I, yes. Opie, uh, no more. I don't know. Uh, no more Sandy. No, we're done too. Seems All like right. <laughs> 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 That's right. PJ, hi, you're on the air. Hey, Howard. Hi. Hey. Twelve hundred okay. years of this misery. I mean, I don't know what this guy wants from me. And they've been talking about say that they really like actually rip you off. How can I honestly I mean, say anybody I mean, rips really me like off? I, I mean, when I hear the same exact bits done, I, that's how I say it. I mean, what about wow? That's totally their idea. Oh, there you go. Okay, there's something new. Well, I, and then uh, there's something new. You know what? I used to do that in Washington D.C. Tell him, Fred. I used to have people tie bandanas around their cars so that women would take their clothes off in the car. Dude, <laughs> get with it. All right, well, I mean, Give I mean, me an original idea. Well, Come on. I, mean, I know. You, I, know I'm I used to have my listeners tie a bandana around their car. I mean, I've done it all. What's that going off on? It's like a, it's like, I, know, I totally know that's you. All right, okay, whatever. i, I got to go. Right. Please, I don't really want to get into discussion like this. Asshole! <laughs> Asshole! <laughs> Hey, welcome to the Opie and Anthony program. It's Whip Him Out Wednesday. Pardon my French, <laughs> but you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> we make it very simple. You don't have to tie bandanas around. Bandana around your car. Around your car or your antenna. What? Shut the fuck up, you huh? asshole. What?